Well, all right, everybody. So this is going to be my pack openings for Mean Streets of Gadzan. Um, I did open some packs earlier, but I was informed or earlier in the day. I was informed though that the triple or three the three class um, card type cards were a lot higher on the list of being able or being rolled. So people were getting extremely unlucky with their um, pack openings. So it is pretty late. It is like 10 Pacific Standard Time and I'm just now starting to open my packs and get into all this because I had work and all that. But anyways, let's see if we can get some cool stuff. We've already gotten a couple epics, which is really nice. It was because I opened like six or seven packs um, when they still had the issue down. Luckily someone told me. Um, from my friends list that was really nice of them um, But I can already tell that there's just a difference in me getting commons like oh, yeah See we already got a legendary <laughs> That's all I'm saying like I can already feel the difference in like what we're opening with our packs so I feel really bad for the people who Opened the packs and didn't really get anything Because I don't think they got compensated right like a lot of them were saying we should get compensated But I have realized like when I open packs I'm usually fairly lucky, like I'll get, like right there I got two rares, the other one I got um, rare and epic in it, I got another legendary. <laughs> okay, those are like the two legendaries that I wanted to try out. So I'm mainly just trying to get cards, like all the cards, so <laughs> I can um, make uh, videos of decks on Hearthpone because people have new ideas and everything, you know, so. Feels good, man. Alright. So. So we already got two legendaries. Not bad. I mean, out of. We haven't even opened 20 packs yet, right? We already got two legendaries. It's really lucky. Golden rare. Nice. Oh, that one's a potion thing, too, for Priest. I kind of want to play Reno Priest, but I don't think it's going to be good because there's a lot of beefy. Um, See Reno pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, probably, well, I'll probably play a deck, but I don't think it's going to be a very serious deck, right? Just because, like, all the all the beefy, or all the good decks right now are super, like, beefy mid-range, and I feel like Reno Priest wouldn't really be good. But I also haven't looked at all the cards. I know I just played against a Reno Priest, but I, like, destroyed them as and I was playing Zoo. <laughs> So, we'll see, I don't know, which Zoo is hyper aggressive, I actually kind of think that Zoo won't be that bad in this meta, but then again, I think Shaman, after like, the new cards and like, testing the new cards and like, coming up with new decks and all that stuff, you know, like kind of after the first week or two, probably the first week, we're going to start seeing a lot more Shaman again, which will be unfortunate because then Zoo will be, I want to say weak again, but... Zoo, I don't know, last time when I played Zoo, that's why like I stopped climbing with it um, last season. Even though it did get me to like rank 3. And then I got to rank 2 I think with Reno Lock. But Shaman is like pretty good against Zoo because they have all those AoEs. They have the Lightning Storms and the Mailstorm Portal. And I think I when I was playing Zoo, I think I lost like almost every single game against um, Shaman, which was unfortunate. Yeah, see, look at this. We got a rare, rare, and a golden epic. <laughs> like, what the heck, dude? Feels good, man. Golden cards. And a golden rare. Hey, there's a small time bucket here. Nice. Golden one. Feels good, man. Oh, this is a lot of packs. But, so satisfying when you get the uh, legendaries. And I get a lot of dust. That's what I'm hoping for too, is just getting a ton of dust. So I pre-purchased, obviously, for 50 bucks, right? And then I also bought 60, uh, 60 packs. And then I spent, I don't know how much gold. Like, 6,000 or 7,000 gold? And just spent it all on packs, so... That's a lot of packs from that, too. <laughs> I 
arcane, greater arcane missiles. I kind of talked about that card. I kind of felt like that card won't really be played. Which I haven't really seen anyone talking about it on streams yet. But it also is only day one, right? So. But. Yeah, I want Controlled Priest to work out. Because I've been having fun with Priest the last couple of days. Like, I was kind of trolling Ladder yesterday. Ooh, another Legendary. Oh, nice. I, uh, Blackpaw. Alright, so we got, like, the best Legendary so far, I think? Or, like, at least the better Legendaries in this set. We've already got those, so that's really nice. So, four Legendaries in 50 cards. Or 50 packs, about? That's not bad. Yeah, it's like 50 packs. It's really good. So hopefully we can end up with like at least 10 legendaries. That'll definitely be worth it. Another epic. Okay, another Cabal Trafficker. I'm really looking forward to Reno Demon. Or Demon Lock, just in general. It's nice to see that, like, starting to come back. Wow, another legendary. Oh my god. I haven't gotten any duplicates yet either. <laughs> what the hell? Hell yeah, hella lucky. Feels good, man. Gotta get lucky sometimes, right? Yeah, I, I really f do feel bad for the people that opened all the packs though. I probably would have opened all my packs earlier and I probably would have been so pissed. It's 50 bucks, man. Probably shouldn't have even bought 60 bucks worth of packs, but, but I did. I, I almost always like pre -pur or I do always pre-purchase and then I buy um, like 60 packs with it too. Wow, what the hell. Double epics, boys. Those epics are actually really bad too, if, at least from what I've heard. Two epics again, holy crap. Hell yeah, dude. All the dust. Give me all the dust. Golden rare, golden common. Yeah, I was thinking about trying to play like a AoE warlock. I think that'd be pretty cool, like Reno Warlock, or maybe just like an AoE Warlock. Because I was thinking about like all these Jade decks and all their just like beefy mid game, you know what I mean? And they just like spam the board with all these like giant ass Jade creatures, and it's like, damn, dude, like how do you get rid of all that stuff? So I was thinking, you know, maybe I needed like double twisting Nether or something like crazy, which would be ridiculous. I don't think that that would be the right play because. They're both uh, eight costing, you know. But um, I, and then I started thinking about it more, and I was like, maybe Handlock will be pretty good in this meta with like double Shadow Flame, like they had back in the day. Remember that when like Druid was real big. So I might be trying out like, or trying to figure out like a good Handlock deck. The only thing is about like me playing the Handlock is I don't think there's really any new cards that you would put in Handlock as far as I've. Like scene, I don't think there's any big giants in this deck in this uh, like release of cards. Um, oh my god, we got another golden cabal trafficker. So, but I think handlock will be pretty good because like if druid's good, like a mid range druid without combo, obviously. If that's good, then I don't see why. Like, Handlock won't be good. I think Handlock was even good. Like, pretty decent last season. I saw Shrive Crow playing it, and he was climbing ladder pretty well. Um, again, with, like, the, all the shamans and stuff. And I think that... Oh my god, another legendary. And we still haven't got a duplicate yet. That's really good. Um, Knuckles. Yeah, I want to try Knuckles out, too. And Hunter. I don't think I've seen anyone playing with him yet, but maybe they just haven't crafted it. How many packs are you opening, what face? Oh. Oops. Smiley face. Hell yeah.
So yeah, there's a couple of different types of decks. I just I feel like Handlock would be good against the Druid, and I think that Handlock would still be okay against Shaman, but kind of depends. I'm hoping Shaman, because Shaman doesn't seem like it's really that bad. I'm also considering climbing the zoo just because it's hyper aggressive, and I think it will also be good against like Druid because it's always been good at, against Druid, right? But it just trades very efficiently usually with like Druid's minions. Um, but if Shaman starts coming back into the meta, then the uh, Double Lightning Storm and <laughs> Mail Storm, like I was talking about earlier, just kind of wrecks you. So yeah, maybe uh, Dragon Priest probably gonna be pretty good. Um, I think Dragon Priest might also be like one of the better ones to play, but I just kind of feel like Jade, Golem, Druid maybe just like outbeats that, unless if, I mean, because you could get a pretty good start with uh, Dragon Priest, right? And I feel like maybe you have better removal for Dragon Priest over Druid, even though the Raven Idols maybe, I don't know. It's just really questionable. <laughs> It's unsure, you know. So we'll have to see. And I'm kind of wondering. Oh yeah, no one's really tried out Warrior either. I think no one's tried Warrior. Maybe because if you like go Control Warrior and you run into a Jade Golem Druid, they just like in the late game will outbeat you, or you know what I mean? Like they'll beat you down, kind of thing. So. Which I could see happening as well. So yeah, it's kind of tough to say. Someone was telling me earlier that their friend was playing a pirate rogue, and they're already rank five right now, which is pretty crazy because it's day one, right? Or is it day two of December? I think it's actually the first of December, right? Which is insane. Yeah, it is the 1st of December, and they're already rank 5. What the hell, dude? That's so weird. Someone else got a Aya uh, Black Paw. That mana geode is going to be cool. That damage, or deal 3 damage to all characters is also great with Warlock. They just have so much good AoE. It's crazy. That's why I think Reno is just, like, Reno Lock is just always so good. Or like the best Reno deck, you know? Kinda of thinking about trying out Reno Mage though, too. Alright. So we got a decent amount of legendaries. We still got 60 packs. We got a ton of epics already. Like this is insane. Yeah, we're getting oh my god, dude. We're getting so many epics, holy crap. Even if we don't really get like another legendary or anything, we're being we've been getting like an epic here. Like every other pack or something. I don't know, it's just been crazy. Alright, that was a blah one. Bam, bam, bam. Blah one again. <laughs> right when I start talking about it, it feels bad, man. Oh my god, legendary. Yeah, patches, hell yeah, I didn't want to have to craft that. <laughs> Just because it's a one cost uh, pirate right, or minion. Alright, so we're going to be able to play that um, that pirate deck, which I think that deck actually has two or three legendaries, right, from the set. Nice, I got 12 legendaries. Feels good, man. Yeah, dude. 50 more to go. Hog champ. Golden Common. Golden Rare and Epic. <laughs> cool. Rare, rare. Yeah, that Public Defender actually looks kind of cool. Yeah, I really want to try like a Taunt Warrior. I don't know if it's good, but it seems fun anyways. Like, I don't know. I like the idea of it. So, which, it, which is funny because that's probably the best deck for like, well not the best, but it's, it is really good against countering um, Pirate Warrior. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I'm going to be Warrior to counter Warrior. Hell yeah, dude. I, I like when, um, when the heroes have like 
different um, deck archetypes that they can go with. It's really it, it makes me like really happy when um, a class can be like or whatever like a hunter can be like several different types of hunters. You know what I mean? But, which I guess they I guess a lot of them can be. It's just like. Like, is late game hunter too greedy, you know what I mean? Which I kind of was playing a late game hunter earlier that I made. It had um, double call of the wild and um, it also had king smorg, king crush. <laughs> but the thing is, like, I kept winning before I would even, like, hit um, turn 9 anyways. So it was like a mid-range hunter with kind of a greediness, you know? It had the secrets going too. I was trying to counter the... Secret, or not Secret Paladin, but the buff Paladin that was going around, but I never ran into one while playing it, because I, I had the Knife Juggler with, uh, double Knife Juggler with double Unleash, just so, like, I could counter the stupid, um, Divine Shield Paladin and buff Paladin, and I even put a, uh, <laughs> not a Black Knight, but a, um, Blood Knight in there for their Divine Shield, but... Yeah, that was kind of funny. I never actually ran into one out. Like, I played two of them, and I lost to both as Priest. And I was like, alright, that's it. And then they didn't play it anymore. It's like Baby Rage. I want to change decks. Very rare. That coin, though. Rare. Another epic and a rare. Sweet. What's that celestial something? I don't even know. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Oh my god, dude. We haven't even gotten one duplicate legendary yet. Hell yeah. So good, man. So good. Another epic. I probably should read some of these. Oh my god, another legendary. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy crap, getting all the good legendaries. Except for that Sally one or whatever. She's not very good. At least I don't think so, right? Pretty sure she's not. I need to try that Alley Cat and Hunter too. Seems pretty good. I don't really know if like I don't know. I mean it's pretty good with the buffs, right? So yeah. Kinda depends. Just crazy, cause like, a lot of the cards aren't necessarily bad, it's just whether or not they're good enough to make the cut, right? That, that gets what it comes down to a lot of the times. Alright, so pretty satisfied with what we've got so far. So, pretty nice devolve, there we go. Yeah, we got that dragon dude too. So, yeah, not too shabby. If we get one more legendary out of these packs, I think I've done pretty well. So, pirate rogue and wild jabated. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. It's stealth from patches. Oh yeah, oh yeah, does it? Oh yeah, wait. It does. Oh my god, that's hella crazy. Cool. Come watch. Almost done. I gotta open packs, yo. Wait a second. Ignore him for a second. Alright, we're almost there, boys. We only got three more after this. One more legendary? Or maybe at least an epic? Come on. Oh no, these ones are bad. The last like seven or eight have been kind of bad, huh? Golden rare? Okay. Alright, last one, boys. What do we got? We got a rare? An epic? A rare? Common and rare. Wow, three rares. Holy crap. Alright. 
Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, these pack openings. So that's kind of a taste of what I got. Uh, decent amount of legendaries. We did open like 170 something packs, so like 174 or something. So not too surprising to get what like eight or nine legendaries. I would kind of expect that. Um, I feel like we got semi lucky. I mean, definitely got a lot of epics too. So. Um, Thank you guys so much for watching, and I uh, hope to see you guys on my stream and my video, my other videos. And I uh, thank you guys for the support, and just, yeah, I really appreciate um, you guys just kind of chilling with me and just having a good time enjoying my content. So, anyways, good luck, guys, on this new expansion. I'll see you in the next video. Stay true. Peace out.